Well, hello and good day, toy fans, and welcome to Super Awesome Toys. My name is Panama Sartan, and in this episode, we'll take a look at the Ori Toys Acid Rings, Peter Mark II, and Soul Commander. The Speeder Mark II comes packaged in a beautiful box showcasing some amazing art in the front, featuring the Speeder Mark II in its mech form. The art really looks top notch. It is simply amazing. On the bottom right corner, we get a silhouette of the included figure because, yeah, it comes with a figure. The top of the box has the Acid Rain logo while the back has a big hole in it with the phrase, go fill it. The hole is meant for you to touch the vehicle inside and feel the weather texture. It is a neat feature, but unless these toys can be purchased at retail stores, I see no use for it. The outside of the box is actually a slip cover that slides right out. The box below is colored as blotchy brown, made to resemble the weather look of the vehicles of the Acid Rain universe. Before we take a look at the vehicle, let's look at the figure it includes. This guy right here is a Soul Commander, and as of today, it is the only figure released in the line. It's also worth noting that this offering of the Soul Commander doesn't come with a weapon. Well, unless you count the vehicle as one. The other offerings include a rifle. Okay, so now let's move on to the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, as well as the neck so you can get a lot of expressive movement out of those joints. The shoulders have ratcheted ball joints, so the arms can go up and down, as well as forwards and backwards. There's a ratchet joint in the elbow, so it can bend and rotate. The elbow joint does feel a bit fragile though. The wrist are on swivel joints, and each of them have a different point of articulation from the other. The left wrist can bend inside and out, while the right one can only bend down. There's a swivel joint at the waist, which makes me wonder why not a ball joint instead. The legs have ball joints at the thighs, so they have a lot of freedom of movement. There's also a cut at the thigh, which allows the leg to rotate. The figure also includes double jointed ratcheted knees, which are very tight. The ankles can rotate and the foot can bend and can rock side to side. There's a lot of articulation on this little guy. And also worth mentioning is that the joints on him are super tight. There is not one loose joint in this whole figure whatsoever. The Soul Commander included in the Speeder Mark II includes two accessories. The first one is a removable helmet made of a soft plastic. It holds well on his head but it's not a tight fit, so it can easily come off. His other accessory is his removable armor. It unhooks on this tab right here on his side, and you need to remove his head in order to remove the armor. As with the helmet, the armor is made of soft plastic. The Speeder Mark II includes four accessories. On the front wheels we get a spade and a pickaxe that are removable. Just be careful when doing so, since they're in there really tight and I almost snapped the spade when I tried to remove it. It also includes two attaché cases that slide right out of the top of the back wheels. The attaché cases can open and close, but I had to force mine open as the paint had dried on the hinge. The Soul Commander can easily hold each of these accessories.
The Soul Commander's paint apps reflect life on a hostile, polluted world ravaged by war. He has very dull earth tones, and there's weathering applied to the whole figure. Unlike the speeder though, the weathering in the figure is not texturized. The figure sculpt is reminiscent of other 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figures like G.I. Joe. As a matter of fact, he'd fit right in with your Joes. I love the fact that by removing his helmet, we get a look at the gas mask he's wearing. That's a very cool, creepy look. Even without his vest, he still looks amazing, as there is some sculpting on the shirt underneath. The Speeder Mark II has pale yellow paint with excellent weathering effects that make it look like this vehicle has spent a lot of time in a harsh climate. It looks rusted all around, especially in corners and angles, just like it would in real life. And you can even feel the texture. The wheels are made of rubber and it rolls around nicely. The roof can open just by untapping it in the front and pulling it back. It has a seat belt made of soft rubber that you can unclasp in order to get the Soul Commander inside. One gripe I have with this vehicle is the difficulty on getting the Soul Commander sitting properly inside and buckling the seat belt back again. But once you get the hang of it, it is not as difficult. Once you have your Soul Commander sitting properly inside the speeder, close the roof again and you're set. The cool thing about the Acid Rain line of toys is that the vehicles all have transformation modes. It is very simple and you can practically see where everything will end up. So you start by pulling the arms out to the side and bending them at the elbows. These tabs here will go into these holes when you transform it back into car mode. Okay, so there's another tab here inside the arm that you need to pull in order to get his guns out. You just do that for both arms. This whole section on top needs to be pulled back by untabbing this piece and pulling this other up. Then you bring the whole section down and push the top piece down again. Be sure to get the section all the way down. This small flap is folded forward on top of the speeder's roof. And that will allow you to push the Soul Commander's head back. These cannons need to be moved up. They're both connected, so moving one will move both. Now you need to rotate the feet inwards and untap the leg from the body by rotating it outwards. Rotate the foot and do the same for the other leg. There's a flap on front of the feet that pulls down to work as a brake for the wheels. Now this whole leg assembly here needs to be pulled down, but you need to work it together with the legs to get it to work correctly. This is the only part of the transformation that is not smooth at all. You need to plug the assembly behind the vehicle's nose here by pulling this small tab forward. Then you can get the section all the way down. Just straighten the legs after that. Then you only need to bend the legs at the knees or, or thighs or whatever this part is and there you go. And it stands nicely on its own. It has no balance issues at all. I gotta say that this thing looks amazing. And using the Soul Commander's head as the mech's head is a cool touch. I'm very impressed with this toy. As for the articulation, the arms can go up and down, forwards and backwards, and can move slightly in and out. Not much though, because the back assembly hinders the movement. 
so the legs can move forwards and backwards and can also rotate in and out. It bends at the thigh and the feet can rock side to side. Not much on the side of articulation for this thing, but what it has is pretty good. The Speeder Mark II is available for purchase from some online retailers from Asia, like Action Robo, and it's up for pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store with an April release date. You can find the links in this video's description if you're interested in purchasing this vehicle. So that's gonna wrap up our look at the Ori Toys Acid Rain Speeder Mark II and Soul Commander. I'm just gonna ask you that if you like this episode, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. So have a nice day and I'll talk to you again in another edition of Super Awesome Toys.